guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock, which means it's time for another video. Now, today we are back with a mat test. What is a mat test? Well, the mat test is very, very simply when I show Matt a trick and he tries to work out how it's done. It used to be very easy to do this because Matt was an idiot. Unfortunately, he's now become quite a lot better at magic. Idiot. Yeah, but he's now <laughs> become quite a lot better at magic. So I have to kind of... Uh, go into the archives to try and fool him and come up with uh, tricks that have a different method to things that he knows. I've got one that I think is going to fool him and we're going to see if it does. Now I'm trying something different. I know you don't watch all of the episodes of Magic TV. You don't have time. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> Who has time to watch every video that you put? <laughs> Last week I did a video and it was a hidden gems on a trick called 52 Thoughts by Cody Fisher. Cody Fisher is one of my favourite comedy magicians. Okay. Cody is amazing. You would love his stuff. Uh, have you ever seen me make a ring vanish and appear in a ball of wool? No. Nope. Ah, uh, that's Cody. Um, Cody's... Excuse me. Bless you. Cody's... <laughs> that's so weird. Cody's brilliant. <laughs> and uh, this is like the perfect walk around trick. Okay. And it's a mind reading trick. Okay. And Bring you like it mind on. Reading. And it involves comedy. And you need more comedy because you said to me the other day, you're not funny. I'm so, not funny. So we're gonna, I, I think you'll like this. Okay. I'm going to perform it for you right now. Do it. I have a prediction. If you're going to make something like flip over or levitate, I'm leaving. I have a prediction. Okay. No, nothing weird, nothing levitating. No chi this time. Okay. I have a prediction. Uh, you can see that because I printed prediction on it. Well, you obviously now, have a first of all, first of all, we have to do a test, right? So I'm going to do a test. I've written a word on the other side of this piece of paper. I've actually printed a word on the other side of this piece of paper. It could be the only word in the English language. Be honest, tell the truth, don't lie. Do you have any idea what the word is? No. Look at that. Genius. It's amazing. <laughs> you roll your eyes, but this is a classic <laughs> gag that people go crazy over. There you go. What do you think? You like it? It's brilliant. Still is that it? Still is that the whole thing? Still don't look impressed. <laughs> We're going to take it to another level. Right, okay. okay. Let's try something else. Because obviously that, that prediction didn't impress you. Luckily I have another prediction. I've drawn an animal. It could be any animal. This, is, this, is, this one's good. Okay. I've got an animal that I've drawn here. Mm -hmm. Think of an animal. Mm -hmm. When I snap my fingers, you're going to say it out loud. Are you ready? Yeah. Duckbill platypus. That could have been anything, right? That's completely <laughs> random. I'd like to point out I'm not the best artist in the world. But I'm sure you'll agree that that's a drawing of a duck little platypus. I mean, it's... <laughs> no, it is. It's got everything that a duck... No, little... it is. It's a duck bill platypus mask. <laughs> that is a duck bill fucking that's platypus. the most fucked up duck bill platypus I've ever seen. Like I said, I'm not the best artist. Well, yes, clearly. Still, still not impressed. Look, I've got one more prediction for you. Right here. This one. This is the one that's going to convert you into a believer. That I have psychic powers. I've never liked Justin Bieber. Oh, believer. believer. Sorry. I want to imagine that you're walking into a shop. Your local supermarket, or whichever supermarket you like to shop at. Mm -hmm. What is it? Which one? Uh, I don't like to shop at any supermarkets, but Asda's closest. Asda. Jack said home bargains. Of course he did. <laughs> um, I want to imagine you're walking into... You're walking through Asda and you're going up and down the aisles and you mm -hmm. see something that grabs your attention. You should have said Waitrose and Mamma Sam Posh. Yeah, you should have done, right? I want to imagine you're walking <clears throat> through the aisles of Asda and you see something that you want. You desperately need it. You can't live without it. Mm -hmm. You take it from the shelf. When I snap my fingers, tell me what it is out loud. A frittata. A frittata? Mm -hmm. A frittata? I don't even know what a frittata is. It's like a little quiche. Is it really? Mm. An Asda frittata. Yeah, cheese and tomato potato. You're not going to believe this. Have you got a barcode scanner? <laughs> because if you scan that... I actually have. Have you? On my phone. Yeah, I haven't got time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this would take you to, to an Asda. <laughs> potato. Would it really? That is, yeah. That's very clever. Look, there's the predictions. You don't look impressed. I mean... i got one more prediction. It's not Pete Turner, is it? This is the one. <laughs> When I snap my fingers, no, Pete couldn't do what I'm about to do right now. Really? When I snap my fingers, name a card. Name any card. Any card. Five of hearts. Really? Yeah. They're all there. The five of hearts is there. They're all there. The advertising cards are there. The jokers there. They're all there, Matt. I predicted the card. Okay, there's more than one, but I predicted the goddamn card, Matt. You predicted all of the cards. Still not impressed. Right, okay. 
<laughs> then we'll have to do a virtual card trick. And the virtual card trick involves taking a virtual deck of cards and virtually cutting the deck into two approximately equal piles. Pick up one of the piles, Jack, uh, Matt. Sure. Right, you can do the same as me. Do me a favour. Cut the deck right down the middle. Lovely. And then put the pieces together. Turn. And cut the deck again. Put the pieces together, turn, and cut the deck again. Put the pieces together, turn, cut the deck again. You done? Yeah. Now turn them face down and mix them up as much as you want to. So you, we cut the deck, you picked either pile. You then cut the deck many, many times and now you're shuffling. When you're happy, take any one of those pieces out and you're gonna look at a card, but do me a favor, go for a, go for a number card, not a picture card, because everybody goes for a picture card, so go for a number card, okay? Just take yeah, one out. Don't show me, but just look at, look at it and, and just think of one. If there's not a card on there, then put it back and go for a different one, because some of them obviously, like that's like an advertising card. Oh, take one that's actually got cards on it. Oh, okay. You get it? And when you've got a, when you've got a few cards, just look at one and think of one. Okay. You got one? Yeah. Shuffle it into the pack. And then put your hand on the pieces. <clears throat> it's mind reading time. Concentrate on the card. I want to imagine, now look at me, mm -hmm. building a connection. I want to imagine that that's the card right there in front of you. That's not me dancing, that's me dancing. That's the card, invisible card, right there. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on it, look at the card, look at the color of the card. Send the color to me, send the color to me, Matt, send the color to me. Look at me. It's a black card, isn't it? It's a black card, right? You want me to tell yeah, you? it's a black card. Yes. Yes, I know it is. This is not. This is not a question. This is a statement, Matt. Concentrate on the suit. Imagine the suit is right there. Concentrate on the suit. No, <laughs> let's let's concentrate. Concentrate on the suit. Look at me. Yeah. Imagine if it's okay. I've got it. It's a spade. Mm -hmm. This is. Impressive, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Concentrate on whether it's an even card or an odd card, like whether it's even, two, four, six, eight, ten, or if it's odd, like eight, three, five, seven, nine. Concentrate. It's an even card. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm getting this. <laughs> okay. <coughs> what are you doing? He's just the charger. The Michael, Michael, good. Michael's, Michael's the camera's so okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Concentrate on whether it's a high card or a low card. A high card, look at me. Low card. High card. Low card. High card. Low card. High card. Low card. High card. Low card. Low card. <laughs> it's, a, uh, <laughs> fuck's sake. It's, it's a high card. Yeah? Huh? You want me to tell you? Yeah. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Well, see, you're not taking this whole mind reading thing seriously. <laughs> Respect the fucking process. <laughs> Look at me. It's a low card. <laughs> see? When you respect the process. <laughs> it's genius. Look at me. Yeah. I like how he told me I'm wrong. Hold your hand out. Concentrate on the actual card. Got it. Got it. Okay.
cut the deck. You pick the half. Mm -hmm. You cut again, you cut again, you cut again, you cut again. You shuffle. The card you're thinking of is the four of spades. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. What? <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. I was waiting for you to on. talk. Well, you've seen the trick. I have. Yeah, what do you think? Um, I don't know. Let me help didn't, you. It, this trick is fucking amazing. Is it? Yeah, it is. Like, I, I don't have... I don't know how much I can say. But you can see it when you look at them, right? No, you can't. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, there was... Why do you sound like they're all mixed up there? Maybe it was just my pile. Let me save you the trouble. There are multiple combinations. There are multiple cards they can think of. You could do this all night and everybody would pick a different card. Really? Yeah. Like You saw me do this earlier to Jack. Yeah. It was a different card. It was a different card earlier. Was it? Yeah. Okay. I could do this all night long, multiple performances, and never repeat a card. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. It's funny. Yeah? Like the bit at the start when you... The predictions and stuff and the, the prediction with the no, I've seen that like a million times. Even before, like, I started working for you, I'd seen that a million times. Um, the duckbill platypus is quite funny. Yeah, it's, it's an entertaining, funny routine. Yeah, but do you have to have one of them every time? Like, how many do you get? Like 50. Oh, really? Okay. I, my use of this is I have one of these folded up inside my wallet. Yeah. And then if you want to do a trick, you just you just take it out of your wallet and you've got like a five-minute stand-up PC if you wanted it. Yeah. But doing that closer, like if you were to do like a corporate function and there's 10 tables, you don't even and have to do five gigs. <laughs> Before you ran out of them completely, I guess. But yeah, that's why God created photocopiers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose you could just do it yourself, couldn't you? But if you get fifty of them in in a pack when you order it, that's fair enough. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why it's not kind of. I don't know why it hasn't. Like. Blown me away. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand why it hasn't. It's good. It's really good. But there's like. There are multiples of each one. Like the, yeah, but if you, you're thinking about this like a magician, if you're a lay person... Yeah, but when, as soon as you handed me the, the piece of paper with all of the cards on, the card that I'd picked was on there so many times. It's not on there so many times. The first one, when you said pick a card. When I said think of a card? Yeah. Yeah. And I said the five of hearts. Yeah. When I opened it, the five of hearts is on there low time. Well, surely that's even more impressive. <clears throat> Yeah, but I mean, nothing happened with the five hearts. No, I don't get your point. <laughs> I genuinely don't get your point. Why did you get me to pick the five hearts in the first place? Because that's the gag. Pick a card, five hearts. Look, they're all there. That's oh, the okay. gag. But there was, it was on there. You, know, you do realise that magic's about entertainment, not no, just I about doing that. magic. My God, you're turning into a move monkey who doesn't know moves. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I'm not turning into a move monkey. I li like it. I think it's good. It just it didn't blow me away. I don't I don't know why. It just didn't blow me away. Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Well, you tell me why and I'll tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> Try it. I don't know. You're I wrong. genuinely you're don't wrong. know. You're wrong. This is a great trick. I'm not saying I it's not I guarantee a great trick. you we could go to the same gig 
you could walk up to a table and do all your size 70 bullshit. And I could walk up and just do this and this would get a better reaction because You're it's probably ent- right. and it's not because I'm a better performer. I mean, I am, but it's not because I'm a better, but <laughs> it's not because I'm a better performer. It's, it's because this is an entertaining, engaging routine. It's funny with all of the gags at the beginning that you might have seen them before, but lay people haven't, trust me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you go into this really cool thing where you're doing a card trick but without, and, and just the whole, I'm going to cut the deck, and you're ripping it in half. But you were trying to work out the procedure at that point. But that's funny, man. That's a good bit. I believe you. Maybe I need to go and do it. The mat test in the real world. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should take one with me this weekend. And just go. I'm very disappointed with your lack of wow about this trick. I know, so am I, to be honest. And I don't understand why. Like the gags, I've seen all the gags a bunch of times before. So maybe it was just kind of. Stop being a magician. Because I've seen them. Um, But there isn't a gag in magic that I haven't seen because of you. Every gag in magic. Of me. Every (laughs) gag in magic you've performed a thousand times. (laughs) So. There aren't, there aren't many gags in magic, I don't think, that I haven't seen. I mean, I might be wrong. There might be people that can post things on here to show me gags that I haven't seen before. But I'll just go and spend half an hour with Wayne Goodman. Yeah. He's a gag machine. Yes. He is a gag machine. Um, but I don't know how it works. If it's not that one every time. I mean, it's, there obviously is an element to the fact that the card is repeated more than once, but that's not... They genuinely, you could do this like 10 or 15 times in a night and not have a repeated card. That surprises me. That surprises me. Because I just thought it was going to be nope. repeated. Nope. Or there would be one of like three or four nope. to go for. Nope. If there's multiple ones um, <clears throat> and you could literally do 10 tables and have a different card every night. That Yeah, I don't know how it's done then. So he does fool me. I don't know how but you going. don't look impressed, Pat. I don't know, understand why I'm not. I don't understand why I'm not. I really want to be, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to um, offend anybody. You're offending me and Cody. Well, I don't mean to offend Cody. Cody I mean, hates shit if Co- I offend you. Cody hates you now. Well, I don't... I can't help it. No, you These can't. are supposed to be honest, right? No, no, it's really important. Matt says it's so, yeah. supposed to be honest. No, and maybe it's because I've seen the gags before. So if you go out and do that live and people haven't seen those gags before, then you get them on board straight away because the gags are really funny and then it, the mentalism side of it comes out afterwards. And I don't, like with the whole reading stuff, reading people and all that kind of stuff, when I do that, I do that quite seriously. And that wouldn't work with that because that's a gag. So you would have to read people the way that you read people. which is Well, no, I mean, I just style. did it that way because that's my style. My style is a yeah. comedic entertainer. Exactly. I don't try to pretend that I'm actually looking at their left eye twitch in a certain way to work out what the card is. But Whilst that's... in reality, I've looked at the bottom of the deck, added three and gone one extra uh, suit. Yeah, but that's what that's what works for me. <laughs> I know, it I'm, works. I'm joking. But for me to do that... I tell people on this channel all the time you're a great performer when you're not listening. I know you don't want to. Do you them. really? Do. Does he really? Has he yeah. actually said that? I have. Yeah. Yeah, in the Q&A yeah. several times. Yeah. 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 Wow. I'm lying to people, but I'm saying it. <laughs> Builds you up to knock you down. You're amazing. Shut up. Anyway, so if I was to do that, yeah, it, I don't know if I'd be able to make it work because doing the whole reading thing, you'd have to do it in the way that you do it and not the way that I do no, it. No, you could. You could say, you could you could get to the point where you've shown that there's loads of cards on the thing and you could go, well, obviously, I'm not very good at comedy, so let's see if we can do this for real. And you can do that and have them put all the pieces away and you can immediately go, concentrate, look at me, look. Oh, your left eye's twitching and your knee looks like it's pointing 45 degrees to the north. That tells me it's a red card or whatever bullshit you're going <laughs> to skew on any given night. <laughs> Maybe Maybe I need to give it a There's go. a bead of sweat dripping down from your left eye and you're eyeing up the woman over there in the corner that tells me something. I don't know. People believe it. <laughs> <laughs> if they believe it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Let's go with that. Professional okay. liars. That's think... what you told me magicians are. Yeah, they are. Professional liars. Well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm... Lying and getting paid for it. 
So what are you giving it? Uh, what do you mean? Ah, give it a percentage. We don't do percentages on the mat test. I know, but I want to get you in trouble with Cody Fisher. I don't want to get in trouble with Cody Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even met Cody Fisher. But are you are you got are you prepared to do this in the real world and be proven wrong? Yeah, I'll tr yeah, anything now that I'm actually outperforming, I'll try anything once. And if you uh and you'll come back on this channel and tell people the reaction you get from this. Yeah. But you've got to sell it. You've got to sell those gags, man. I mean I know you're not all about gags, but you've got to sell those gags. I'm going out and I'm gigging. I want it I don't want to go out and bomb a trick on purpose just to prove a point. These are paying customers and I want to do a good job. So any trick that I go out there and do in the real world, I will do to the best of my ability. I'm happy. Like I do everything that I perform, I will always do to the best of my ability, whether it's a role I want to do or not, whether it's something I want to do or not. If I'm outperforming and I'm being paid to do it, I will do it to the best that the best that I can. But as it stands, it doesn't really pass the mat test. Well, it, it passes the mat test in the sense that I don't know how it's done. Yeah, you've got an element of it. You understand part of it. Yeah, kind of. But I don't know the full method, and I don't know fully how it. Like you couldn't just give it me now, and I could do it. I don't know how it's. You know, I don't know how all of it's done. Which you know, as the mat test is, if it fools me, then it fools me, and it's fooled me because I don't know how it's done. But it's just, um, yeah, just the whole performance aspect of it wasn't particularly impressive. Not you, just... <laughs> Fuck you! Not you, not the way you perform... Not the way you performed it, just <laughs> with the, the You're old... You're as bad as those internet trolls, asshole. With the old gag... Well, well, I mean, the old gags and stuff and the lead up to the, the mentalism bit with the, I don't, you know, the old gags and stuff. You mean old? You're not old. Well, I know of them. Yeah, that is the old-ish. But I mean, what's old is new. That's not true. How is what's old new? This trick is... If I found an old 50, banana This trick is about 15 years old. You've never That's seen old. it. That's old. No, to the you, trick, but the gang's new. To you, it's new. If I find an old banana in the street, and went, there you go, new banana, you'd be like, That's really old. I'd be like, yeah, old but it's new. only old. You wouldn't eat it, it's would only old if people haven't heard them before. How many times have you seen me perform on stage using those gags and people wet themselves laughing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's because I've seen all of the gags already. So straight away, I was like, oh, God. I remember the first time that I did a routine with those gags and you wet yourself. Yeah, probably. Probably got video evidence somewhere of you wet yourself. Probably have. It was just, would have been a really long time ago. So again, okay, you've tainted me. This, the mat test is going to get more difficult because there's so much stuff that I've seen now. Mm -hmm. And those trick, those gags, I've seen a thousand times. But they're just as entertaining. To people that haven't seen them before, yes, probably. Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to apologise for Matt's... Um, I don't, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Manic, you told depressive me... depressive nature on the mat test. You told week. me to be honest... You told me to be honest, and that's honest. And I'd just like to say, right now, just in case Cody Fisher's watching this, the opinions of Matt Cluley do not necessarily represent the opinions of Magic TV or Craig Petty. I'm not and trying his to opinion Cody. Is, is, is solely his own and in no way um, is anything that I agree with. I'm not trying to offend Cody. I'm sure Cody totally understands. I've told him the method I don't get. I don't understand how it works. I've got an element of it, but the actual method and stuff and how it works, I don't know. That's impressive. I don't know how that's done. It's impressive. The gags and stuff, I've seen a thousand times before. Cody's going to understand that's, that. That's, that. You know what? Your attitude here, and we're going into rant territory here. Your <laughs> attitude here oh. is what I really hate about magicians that are new to magic. What I really hate about magicians that are new to magic... Should I leave? Is, ...is they see something that they've seen several times because they've consumed a lot of magic, and they go, well, I'm not going to do that in my performance because... That's obviously been seen before. That's whilst not what I in said. Reality, I said I will do this in a performance. Yes, but you're saying that, that will this isn't as this. impressive as stuff you've seen because you've seen the gags before. Well, obviously, something's going to be more impressive the first time you see it. Obviously. True, but you can't say that it's not going to be impressive to I the lay audience. I didn't say it's not going to be impressive to a lay audience. I said that it would be impressive to a lay audience. And I said if you haven't heard those you're gags You're saying before, that you're not personally enjoying it. Because I've seen the gags a thousand times. They're great gags. I'm not saying they're not. And I'm not saying it wouldn't work. And I said that I would go out there in a live environment and do this.
to see what kind of reactions it gets to people that haven't heard those games before. I'm not slating it in any way. I'm just saying. Hey, Michael, what are you doing on Saturday? You want to follow him up to Bolton? He's <sighs> filming doing it. That's Sunday. That's <laughs> Sunday then. I want to follow him up to Bolton? Not in particular. No. Yeah. He's not going to follow me to Bolton. <laughs> I'll get Ryland to film you. No, you won't. He can come with you. I'm not babysitting your son for no, an entire no, day. No, 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 you don't need to babysit him. He's just going to come with you and he's going to film you doing tricks. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's got a, he's got a camera. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Jack to film I'll you. take Buddy with me. We'll get Jack to film you. Jack's not going to come with me to Bolton. No, maybe if I ask him well enough. He's got like, I'm sure he's got some kind of life outside of the office. I don't Maybe think he'll he'll come and film you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> debatable. Unless there's a unless there's some sort of like cosplaying convention going on, I reckon you'll be good. Oh well, I'll take Jack then. Okay, cool. Right, so there we go. That's another Matt test in the bag. Sorry about the depressive nature of Matt. This he's, he's, I'm not depressive. He's hard. He's hard. He's tired. I'm, he's I tired. am tired. He's tired. Look, at but him. I'm not depressive. Look at his little face. He's tired. So, so. What you, you told me to be honest. <laughs> I know. I was honest. <laughs> And I'm really glad you are. Seriously, bro. Thank you very much. Um, you want to see another Matt test? Such then an awesome uh, let, us know in the, <laughs> let us know in the comments <laughs> down below. Um, and also, go and join the net. <laughs> go and join the Netflix where Matt gets 90% of his magical knowledge from. I get about 0.5 of it from you. Most of it for the Netflix. <laughs> Can I learn this? Yeah, go to the Netflix. That's where you get to from. Uh, we'll be back again very, very soon with another Matt Test. Thanks, favourites, for watching. I'm Craig. I'm Matt. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.